Okay, so just for fun, I'm going to create a snake controller today, which is going to be similar to the one that you find in Slither. And of course, I haven't prepared for this, so let's see what happens. I right-clicked and I went to create and I created a folder called Game Designer Online. Over there, I dropped the scenes folder that Unity automatically creates and I named it Test Scene. And the main camera is currently at uh, 200 uh, far clipping planes and the size is 8.5. The background color is solid. This is the 2D core template which unity provides so now we're going to start making the uh, controls i'm going to go over here to the object um, i'm going to have a sprite this is going to be a circle and uh, it's going to be actually I'll reset it so it's right in the middle which property position so it's going to be right in the middle and i'm going to create a parent for this so uh where is it hang on a second create empty i create empty parent this is going to be the player object player character and this is going to be the avatar and we will have also have a nose for this avatar so it's going to be a uh this is going to be a square sprite and this is going to be the nose so i'm going to have it at uh, 0 0.25 and uh maybe uh something like 0 0.5 the y is going to be at 0 0.5 so that's the noise stick nose sticking out okay so uh, what this is is by the way this is running on linux so if you think that unity is slow that's not really my computer it's basically linux uh the unity does really, really doesn't uh focus on their linux builds a lot it appears and this is wayland too i can't really blame them if it's not running very well on wayland since, since they do not officially support it i'm going to create a new folder call it scripts i'm going to call this player controller so uh this is going to be player controller and uh, once this will take 15 years to compile after that we're going to work on this so let's wait for it okay now it's done okay so now i'm going to go to player corrector drag and drop the player controller script over here i'm going to click save and uh, now i'm going to i think i should deal with the rotation first and i'll have to steal some rotation code so let's go ahead and deal with the rotation inside of Rider. I'm going to delete all of these. And I'm going to wait for this to get ready. And after that, I'm just going to uh, change the namespace like that. You know, Rider has automatic functionality for namespace. Since this is a short tutorial, since this is a short tutorial, I'm not going to do the com the write the comments that I usually write. But I'm going to just write some basic comments, script script for controlling the player find github copilot github copilot let me complete it this is going to be a serialized field private camera and this is going to be a uh, main camera and we're going to use the main camera for rotation so the first thing that we'll do is probably we're going to get uh, the current direction of the camera and uh, we are going to see like uh what equation we can use i think github copilot will help me complete this but we'll see i think i think github copilot will help me complete this so let's see what happens okay uh so private uh we, we also need a direction so it's going to be a vector 2 a private vector 2 actually and this is going to be a direction movement direction actually movement direction All right and uh we will first get the movement direction so we are going to have a private wide get movement direction and this is going to be uh get mouse position in the world space so this is going to basically uh get us the world point actually world i should say world yeah world space is fine okay so this is the uh this is basically the movement direction we are going to get the movement direction and uh to get the movement direction we are just going to get the direction like this you'll see it over here so this is basically the direction in which we have to move so in order to test this what we'll do is we'll first take a look at uh the movement and i don't really like this i don't i don't like this this is not a good method 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, actually have get distance get distance from mouse to player. Let's see if GitHub Copilot completes this. Okay, so it's not completing it. That means we'll have to actually. Uh, but I think we should. I should actually store the mouse position. So I'm going to go over here. Store mouse position. So vector vector two mouse vector two uh, mouse position. I'm just going to right over here mouse position. And this is going to be mouse position. And this should be a vector three, in fact. There you go. Okay, so now we will have to get the current distance from player to the mouse. So I think GitHub Copilot is not going to complete this. So if the, the if the distance is if the distance is greater than 0.5 f so we're just going to do this and that's that's the code that i was actually looking for so i guess that is fine and um, this is a vector 2 so i don't think there's going to be a problem but let's see if this works so in the update we're just going to uh, have get movement direction and now we're going to have move so there you go. And now I'm going to go back to Unity. And uh, by the way, what another thing that I did before I started recording this video is that I basically went to edit, went to project settings. And over here, I went all the way down over here. And I made sure that enter play mode options is ticked, so I don't need to reload the domain and reload the scene every time I click play. So now I have to pass main camera, and let's see if this works. Probably it will. It is working, in fact. Yeah, it is working, actually. Let's see if I can get still over there. I am. Okay, fine. That's that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to... Uh, let's see here. Okay, so now that that is done... I have to move this done. Okay, yeah, so I have to increase the speed a bit. So 35 seems to be an okay value. Let's go ahead and... Why is this locked? Oh my god, this, are you serious? This sometimes happens in Wayland and on Linux that uh, sometimes the editor does not refresh. It's because it doesn't know that uh, basically uh, Wayland has, is is better at security to sometimes this happens that programs cannot communicate with other programs i think that that is what happened right now but yeah so it's slowing down when it re when it starts to reach the reach the uh reach the end which is not something i'd like i'd like it to be consistent so let's see what we what mistake i'm making plus equals to movement direction it's normalized into time the delta time and it's kind of slowing down as it reaches the reaches the uh, reaches the end. I do not know why that is, but this actually won't be a problem when you're making this game because uh, if you, if you ever need to use the solution because you will have a moving camera, I'm not really moving it. So I added a rigid body right now just to tell Unity that this corrector is going to move. It's a little bit weird that it's kind of get it slowing down as it reaches the end i'm not sure why that is so let's uh, in fact uh just use fixed update i mean it's not really going to fix it i don't think so but yeah let's see it slows down even though i'm not using normalized so that, that is a little bit, I find a little bit, I mean, I am using normalized, so it's a little bit weird why this is happening. I should put my phone in silent. I, I usually put my phone in silent, but um, I forgot to do this. 
Anyway, so now my phone is on silent. I can walk in peace. Okay, so now I'll put in some rotation code and see where that goes. I'm going to do this after I pause the video. Okay, so I made a few changes when I, when I was working on this off camera. The first change that I made was that I went to, uh, and I did this code, so you can just copy all of this code over here. And uh, this is like the angle of the angle uh, at which we have to rotate. Remember to put minus 90 at the end, just copy it as it is. Another thing that I did is I, this was normalized, if you remember. I deleted the dot normalized and I inserted it over here. So now you won't have that issue where the character was slowing down as it approached the target. So next I'm going to add tails and I'm just going to do this off camera. I'm going to add tails. So let's do that. Do not copy this code as I haven't written this. GitHub Copilot has written this and sometimes the the code isn't uh, isn't written correctly. So I'll first explain how I will make the tails. So the tail is going to be an, a different object. Let me just uh, show it to you. So I'm going to go back to Unity and uh, well, ideally the tail should be inside of the inside of the player, but uh, we're not really going to do that right now. Uh, we're going to have tails outside now. How you will manage this? Well, you're on your own on that, my friend. So I'm just going to make a new tail object. I'm going to call. I'm going to create an empty. I'm going to call. Damn it! I should not have created an empty. I should go to 2D objects, sprites, and circle, and this is going to be tail. And I'm just going to call this one. I'm going to go to edit, project settings, um, project settings over here. I'm going to go to where's the prefab? Uh, there you go. Uh, object naming scheme. I'm going to name it like that because I want it underscore one. So this is one tail. I'm going to move this. Um, I think I, I can't make it a child of this game object, definitely. So this is going to be the first tail. I'm going to reset this, uh, reset the property. So this is going to be the first tail. I do not know what this exception is, by the way. I've got no idea. Okay, so just going to duplicate these tails. And uh, inside of player character, I made this array, which you'll see over here. Uh, that is the array. So this is the array. And now I'm going to... Go back to Unity. I'm going to lock this like that. And now I'm going to drag and drop this over here. And uh, I'll, s I mean, GitHub Copilot uh, wrote this, so I hope it'll work, but let's see if it does. Another thing that it doesn't, it doesn't do is it, it doesn't, um, like, uh, it's not rotating the tail. So let me just uh, also rotate. The tail towards the player so let's see if github copal completes this as well so okay uh minus 90 i suppose not sure whether this i mean i'm not sure yet so uh now i have to okay so that's 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 a little bit weird it should have been the same that we had before but anyway Let's see if this works. Not sure whether this will work or not, but let's see. Okay, so here we go. And um, I'll click play. And it is working, but it's a little bit too fast, it seems. Also, the tails need to have more distance, so uh, and I think that there's another thing too, that the tail is, uh, let me just have more distance between them. It should be like 10 or something. I mean, isn't that going to be a little bit too much? <laughs> okay. Uh, 1.5. Let's see if this works. And, um, uh, yeah, let's see. Okay. Right, so the tails are kind of sticking together, it appears. And I think they are sticking together, like they're, they're the same value. So this is indeed a problem. Let's fix this.
Okay, so the modifications that I made to the code are this. I just simply, uh, this is, I haven't tested it yet, so let's see if GitHub Copilot actually understood what I was doing. This is the modif first modification that I've made, and you can pause the video, you can copy this. So for the first tail, the first tail should only move towards the player. All the other tails should basically follow the other tail. That is basically what, what we, are, we will do, essentially. So this is, uh, again, I haven't tested it. This is similar to the code that I wrote for a client. So let's see if this works. And indeed does. There you go. There are your snake controls right there. Yeah. So of course, you, you, see, you can see that this tail is getting stuck. Now I'm not going to polish this, but I, I managed to fix this when I was making a controller for my client. I know for certain that I managed to fix this, okay? So this isn't something that uh, like this cannot be fixed. It's just that I basically made sure that the angle of rotation uh, is basically limited. Like you can actually make this a little bit slower. So when it's slower, then the then this uh, snake cannot move like that erratically. It will have like a circumference or a circle. That way, the, this this will never get stuck like this. You can see that. So those are your snake controls right there. So uh, again, I'll just uh, go go ahead and I'm going to basically just uh, show you the script from the start. This is the entire script, so you can see it right here. And you can pause the video whenever you want. You just have to copy all of this. There you go. That's the end of the script. Okay, so another thing that I will do is probably I'll make it update. So that's just because I saw a little bit of stuttering for whatever reason. And the, another thing that I have to do is I also have to make this into a into a, a rigid body. All of these should be rigid bodies. So let's do that. Uh, rigid body 2D. There you go. And this should be kinematic. And uh, yeah, so let's see if this works. And they work pretty well. Now it's also even a little bit smoother as well. Yeah, so there you go. There, there is the solution for the for the snake controls, and it's very smooth. Fix update is actually well, it was actually working better a bit. I do not know for what reason, but I I, I found that that was working a little bit better. But yeah, so this is the snake controls right now for your for the game.